happening with this? Something's not quite right. I want to look at the color in daylight. Well, what did we talk about the other day? Didn't we agree on what constitutes proper working attire? Don't be so hard on yourself. You look adorable. <laughs> Did you approve the lining fabrics and the fittings for the bags? Right after lunch. And did you call the modeling agency? They needed to stop casting yesterday. Get it done now. Yes, boss. Now? I mean it. Love you, too! <laughs> uh, Careful, big lady. Who oh, is your little man? Need a hand? Or a boot? Tell me, Dapper Donald. What can I do that will allow you to go on with your life undistracted by my sharing the planning to try dressing like a bloke for starters? Jealous? What have I got to be jealous of? All the attention I get from the ladies. <laughs> you, ladies. Raise your hand if you look to see what I wear to work each day. <laughs> You're telling me that you ain't tart it up to get blokes. No, why would I do that? Blokes, the fancy blokes, fancy blokes. So you like women? I adore them. I worship them. My whole being is dedicated to loving them, and they love me right back. So then why don't all men wear dresses? A question I've been asking all my life. <laughs>
to do to be a real man, and I'll do the same for you. Now, whatever you tell me to do, I will have to do. <laughs> but you will have to do the same for me. Deal. I ain't wearing no puffy dress. Chickening out already. <laughs>
beat to Milan and you forget of Odyssey and that's a good idea, huh? I've heard watching go on slap me around might boost morale. I suppose I should thank you for not crippling him. Anything for the war effort. <laughs> Charlie. Lola. Congratulations. Why don't I leave you two lovers to make up? <laughs> they say that vodka is your preferred. What'd you do it? Why'd you let me win? Really? <laughs> Yeah, really. Because I didn't want you to walk into the factory tomorrow and feel disrespected. And what about you? Compared to my challenge, losing a fight is a polka in the pansies. <laughs> Accept someone for who they are. What's that mean? <laughs> Just what it says. You're looking for me to say many frocks is all right. I'm not looking for you to say anything. Accept someone. <laughs> well, how's that make me a man? Try it. Anyone? Anyone at all. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> Centuries. So would you like to bunk in with us? It would be an awful burden, I know, but how about a short-term mortgage on your new plan? We just did that until we got to today. Charlie! I was sitting on the loo and I was struck by lightning! Oh, kitten! You want to close the window first! <laughs> I spoke to a nice chap down at the postal. Let me see if you can figure an email on the taxes. Would someone listen to me? We're in crisis here. Charlie! You want me to hire Italian models and hair and makeup staff? What? At last, a question in which I have an answer. I want you to hire models here and makeup because we're putting on a show. Yes, but why are we using fashion models? I've got this one too, because we're putting on a fashion show. Yes, but why are we using professional fashion models? This really is my day, because we're putting on a professional fashion show. Let's take the girls from the club. Angels. Who would be more fun to watch on the runway? A bunch of personality free pretty boys prancing about? Or a gaggle of fabulous drags? Who can demonstrate what these boots were born to do? You're not serious. You want me to gamble my family's business, this building, my home, the very shirt on my back. I want to ramshack a bunch of broke down crosses. There you go, biting the hand that feeds. I don't know what's more daft, what you're saying or what you're wearing. Want to have a look at these, Mr. Price? Well, the heels are wrong. This is not the design. True enough, but under the deadline we had to improvise. But it's not like the drawing. We had to put the heel on a different angle. Why? Else we'd have to create an entirely new steel shank. Then do it. You have no selling time if you have to wait for a new heel. I told them to go ahead like that. But it's not what you drew. One's a drawing, one's a sheet. I never gave you approval. No. All you give me are deadlines. We're going to do this right, but not at all. Trish. Let me see these. But well, the seams aren't straight, you're rushing. Do the moment. Excuse me! And the zipper set wrong. People, this is for Milan, for the world's most sophisticated shoe buyers. So? So, I don't want to be laughed out of the industry. We're on thin ice putting these out in the first place. Everyone hold on the floor. March back and let me see these. Oh, Trish, George, come over and look at these. They all need to be picked out and done correctly. They all need to be done over. It's Saturday! And? Well, I don't mind a bit of the rah-rah kumbaya for the sake of the team, but some of us have a life outside this factory. 
and you're going to have a bloody lot more of it. If I buy it, do it again. Please. You got the problem. All right, everyone. Back to work. Here's what I don't understand. Why am I the only one who cares? Not now, Nick. You don't even think about putting me off, Charlie. I am up against a bit of a crisis. You mortgaged off flat without even discussing it with me. There I am, having me supper alone, as usual. And along comes a man who measures the garden. I can explain. You don't ever say it and stand by my man. I'll stand by you still if you give me one reason. The reason is right in front of you. Isn't saving prices some with everything? All this passion when I was trying to make us a new life in London. In London was for you. For us. For you. You wanted London and I went along. Really? Well, you could have fooled me. And what about us? Who's getting engaged just for me, too? Then this. Who's this rubbish for? You don't tell me it's for your father. He's probably spinning in his grave over what you turned his factory into. So who's it for, Johnny? That fancy friend of yours. Doing special favors for him? Something going on Stop, there? Don't be ridiculous! How should I know who you're bonking in with? Certainly hasn't been with me. You're doing it for them! You? Them! Our friends know. We grew up with these people. We've known them all our lives, and now the lad who is riding on this factory. And this factory is riding straight up the cliff. If your father was still here, they'd already be out of work. Well, he isn't. I am. <gasps> So you're hankering to be a hero? Charlie to the rescue, is it? Well, how do I get Charlie to rescue me? You look nice. You're all done up. Richard put me on a new project. Big time stuff. I'm headed back to the city for good. Are you coming? Well, those are shoes we saw. How long was I supposed to wait? <coughs> so long, Charlie. Well, if you're done making wedding plans, can we finish discussing the live show? There's no discussion to be had using professional models. It's done. Then you've got to get on the phone because I just called and cancelled them. I never said you could do that. Leave, Charlie. My girls don't need to be paid. They'll do it for cocktails, giggles, and the chance to walk a professional runway. And my girls do their own hair and makeup, so there's the money we need to get us to Milan. How do I get this into your head? We're marketing to the world's most sophisticated buyers. Half of them probably watch the evening news wearing their wives' brassiers. <laughs> news slash for Lola, there are a whole lot of us who don't watch the evening news in Brazil. Well, bully for you, but you ain't my buyers. Then here's another news flash. I'm not flying all the way across Europe just to sell to your chums. We won't be selling to anyone if we can't get to Milan. Well, there's no point in going if all we've got to show is a bunch of Nancy boys stopping about in skirts. And we need to show up with some women. Women? You heard me. That was never the deal. Then the deal was wrong. What did that girl say to you? I am not embarrassing the name of Price and Son by parading a plain load of misfits at the world's most influential football misfits? show. Misfits? Listen to me, Lola. These boots can be mainstream. Drag queens are mainstream. Just this morning I was off at a gig singing at a nursing home. A nursing home, Charlie in Blackton. Maybe that's where you belong. Look at you. You are meant to be a business person. How many successful designers do you know go about camped up like the entertainment at some low rent tea dots? After all I've shared with you, you still think I'm wearing this for a lack of a pair of trousers? No, 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 I get it. I understand. All of this frou fru protects you from who you really are. I heard you. You heard nothing. I'm telling you. You don't have to hide. Once the industry sees your work, you'll be able to stop all this and have a normal life. You're a fool! Emma! Wage if we stood side by side and as passers by, which one of us was fooling themselves, most of the boats would swing your way. Why am I the only one here who believes in you? You believe in my shoes! I am not my shoes! No, you're a joke! You think you're being all mystical and deep, representing the best of both sexes, yeah? I'm here to tell you all you are is daft. You say you want to be treated like a man, and then start acting like one! 
sorry that sometimes the truth hurts. The truth.
want no part of this. Down, Dougie. <laughs> like every mother I've ever met, you only growl because you're scared. Dogs growl to protect something. I've got nothing left to growl over. You're a funny one, Charlie Price. I always took you for a spoiled twit waiting to have the world handed to him. Don't have me nothing unless you want to destroy it. to work just by accepting love. No, Charlie. You. Dawn accepted you. Why? How'd you run a low on funds? Last week's paychecks. Who needs to eat?
certainly the best. I challenge Dawn to change his mind. That I'm the one that really needed that lesson. So this is Charlie from Lockhampton telling Simon from Clacton that he's so terribly sorry. Goodbye, Lola. Thank you. Thank you for listening.